Hi, welcome. Ida down. It's the um, it's the lockdown that uh, I'm trying to do six covers, and um, it's been a bit tricky. What I did, which was probably not the most sensible thing to do, was ask you for some suggestions, and I'll just read out some suggestions. And the problem with the suggestions, I thought a lot of them were really good. I just couldn't play them. Two people suggested common people. And I thought, that's great. So I spent you know, three days, because you can go on Google and get the chords. I was going, no, I can't do that. I can't play that chord, can't play that chord. And then I tried with the capo, and then the crapo, but then you couldn't, you know, couldn't sing along to it. Um, two people suggested that. Um, someone else suggested um, Blockbuster. Now, Blockbuster I do live with my ambidextrous guitar. But Deadly the Roadie's got all the uh, gear um, in the car and, and he's on lockdown and the only thing I had was my blow up ambidextrous guitar. And I did actually try in front of the camera to work out a version using this. Um, yeah, you can see, it's silly. So, yeah. um, what else? Um, I, I'll just do some of the other suggestions, they're quite funny. Um, Free Bird, yep. Telegram Sam, which is an interesting one. Crazy Horses, but Crazy Horses I need the theremin, and I wasn't prepared to, you know, go woo, woo, and um, throw out that. And um, I just mentioned um, Alan Robbins, right, for the most stupid suggestion of all. He thought I should do Bohemian Rhapsody. No. That wasn't going to work. And I will mention um, my mate Robert Chalmers. It was, oh no, he thought he was being really helpful and he was sending me um, six suggestions a day. And um, I did try and keep up with it, but I couldn't. Um, so what I've ended up doing is um, a bunch of covers that I've been doing over the years anyway. So I've got, I've, I've, there's some of those. But there are, um, there are a couple of surprises. Um, so uh, I will mention Sue Scarborough and Ben uh, Whiteside, who suggested that I should do um, the Bob Dylan song. Um, a lot of you have heard, seen the gigs and heard the story about how my sister bought a Bob Dylan record and me getting quite excited because I thought that was a heavens and a lot easier than all the pop records that I liked, that I you know, knew that I'd never be able to play. So, big tribute, my big hero of all time, Bob Dylan. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. And I spent oh, so many nights thinking, hey, you done me wrong. And I'd be strong, and I'd learn how to get along and nail back. And I just will tend to find you there with that sad look upon your face. I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have made you leave the key. If I had a thought for just one second, you'd be back to bother me. Go on now, go! Walk out the door. Just turn around now, because you ain't welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurt me with goodbyes? Do you think I'd crumble? Do you think I'd break down and die? Oh, no, no, no! I'm also alive! As long as I know how to live it, we must stay alive. I got all my love to live, and I got all my love to give, and I'll survive. I'll survive. Hey, hey! It took all the strength I had not to fall apart. Kept trying hard to mend the pieces of my broken heart. And I spent all so many nights feeling sorry for myself. I used to cry. But now I hold my head up high and you see me, somebody new. Not that chained up little person still in love with you. And you expect to be dropping in to expect me to be free. But now I'm slaving all my loving for someone who's loving me. Go on now, go! Walk out the door. Just turn around, Marcus. You ain't welcome anymore. Weren't you the one who tried to hurry with goodbyes? Did you think I'd cool? Do you think I'd look down and die? Oh, no, no, no! I'll survive! As long as I know how to live, I know I stay alive. I got all my love to live, and I got all my love to give, and I'll survive! I will survive! 
Hey, hey! Okay, so there you go, Bob Dylan. Um, right, this next cover, um, nobody voted for, or nobody asked for, but I thought I'd do it anyway. Um, well, this song, um, I was quite inspired by, and I quite, um, when I was at home, you know, in my bedroom playing, um, as you do, um, it was one of the songs I used to play, and it's a song, you know, from my youth, from my, from the 60s. And when we were doing, um, or putting together the ideas for the Montserrat album, I thought maybe the band could do it as a cover. And Murray came round the house, and, um, I played it to him, and I said, do you think we should do something like, you know, do you think we should do that or do something like it? And he said, I'll do something like it. So I wrote um, a song, a bit like this one. Um, I think you'll spot um, which song it is off the Monstrat album. Um, but I still like the original. Needles and Pins. I saw her today. I saw her face. And it was a face I loved. And I knew I had to go away And get down on my knees and pray That they'd go away, but still they begin Needles and pills Because of all my pride Trees, tears, I gotta hide hey, I thought I was smart I had one heart, didn't think I'd do But now I see she's worse to him than me Let her go ahead Take his love instead, and one day she will see just how to say please. That's how it begins. She'll feel her needles and pins, and I have love. Why can't I stop and tell myself I'm wrong? I'm wrong, so wrong. Why can't I stand up and tell myself I'm strong? Because I saw her today. I saw her face, but it was a face I loved. And I knew I had to go away And get down on my knees and pray That they go away But still they begin Needles and pins Because of all my pride These tears I gotta hide Oh, needles and pins Great thing about that is that when you do these things um, do something like that, and I enjoy it, <laughs> even if you don't. Um, well, this is another one I'm, I, I, I do quite regularly on stage. It's um, possibly the saddest song ever written. Um, I bought this record when it first came out. I remember thinking at the time, it's bloody sad, and it got voted as the saddest song ever written. And one time one person came up to me after I played it and said, bloody hell, that way that was even sadder than the original. And um, who is it that wants me to play it? It's Tracy Robinson. She was the only one that did. <laughs> here you go, Tracy, here you go. How big it's grown. Friends, it hasn't been too long. And it wasn't big. And I laughed at her and she got mad. The first day that she planted it was <laughs> just a twig. Then the first snow came and she ran off to brush the snow away so it wouldn't die. I came running in, all excited, slipped and almost hurt herself. And I laughed till I cried. She was always young at heart, but kind of dumb and kind of smart. I loved her so, and I surprised her with a puppy. Kept her up all Christmas Eve two years ago. And honey, I miss you, and I'm being good. And I'd love to be with you, if only I could. She wrecked the car, but she was sad. And so afraid that I'd be mad, but what the heck? Oh, I pretended hard to be. Yes, you could say she saw through me and 
hugged my neck. I came home unexpectedly and caught her crying needlessly in the middle of the day and then it was in the early spring when flowers bloom and robins sing. She went away and honey I miss you and I mean good and I'd love to be with you if only I could. One day while I was not at home, while she was there and all alone, the angels came. And all I have is memories of honey, and I wake at night and call her name. Honey! 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 Now my life is an empty stage, where honey lived and honey played and love grew up. And a small cloud passes overhead and cries down on that flower bed that honey loved. And see the tree, how it's grown, the frenzy hasn't been too long, it wasn't big. And I laughed at her and she got mad, the first day that she planted it was <laughs> just a twig. There you go, that was sad, isn't it? Right, um, this is uh, another request I've had. Um, this is something I've been doing live um, quite often when you've got uh, an intelligent audience, because um, I do get them occasionally. And um, so this is basically just a lovely little piece of poetry written by probably one of Britain's greatest poets, David Bowie. Um, now, I'd just like to do this as my dad right, would have done it if he'd been David Bowie. My dad from came, he came from um, um, Ulverston in Cumbria. They would have probably done it, yes, that's sort of this. And this is for uh, Tracy Ulverston. Ground control to Major Tom. This is ground control to Major Tom. Now take protein pills and put helmet on. This is ground control to Major, Major Tom. You're being really great. On papers want to know shall sure, sure, yeah. Now it's time for this capsule. If you're there. This is Major Dump at ground control. I'm stepping through the door. And <laughs> I've brought it in more sticky way. <laughs> Stars look very different today. Ground control to Major Tom. This circuit's dead. There's something wrong. Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? Can you hear me, Major Tom? You know, floating in my tin can, far from world, planet Earth's blue, and there's now I can do. There you go, David Bowie. Right, a couple more. Um, years and years ago, in the um, Middle 80s, about 1985, I was living in Maida Vale um, in London. And uh, it was a trendy part of London to live in. And uh, just down the road was a pub, they used to have a bit of a music night and people used to get up and play. Um, yeah, because yeah, it was a trendy part of London, sometimes famous people would be in there. Now, my old roadie, Peter Bullock, who had been headhunted by um, you know, bigger acts and he'd, he'd go after him, um, was uh, roadieing for Peter Sarsted. Right? That's quite funny because um, Peter Sarsted um, didn't really know who I was. I, I knew who he was because I've been doing this song for years. And Peter Burke and a bunch of my mates thought it'd be really funny right, if me and Peter did a duet of House you know, of um, Peter Sarsted's Where Do You Go To My Lovely? And Peter Sarr said, had no idea of how I played his song. And it's quite funny, before we did it, I remember me and Peter chatting and Peter saying, uh, well, do you do it with the E minor or the A minor? Right. I just looked at him and said, Peter really doesn't matter how I do it. It's not going to make much difference. And just to get a flavour, what I thought would be quite good is if we reenacted, right, that duo um, with Peter Sarr said, we obviously can't do it with him, but just to get an idea, right? 
was a bit like this. Hi, Peter. Um, um, who's going to start? Are you going to do the first verse or should I? And um, so uh, I, I, I said I'd start to give Peter an idea. Now, we took a verse each. Now, what I think is just to get the, the humour of it and what the audience, um, every time Peter sang, yes, you do, I would go, no, no, Peter, you don't. <laughs> Like Marlon Dietrich, and you dance like Zizi Jamer, and your clothes smell like all made by Vilma, and there's diamonds and pearls in your hair. Is there all? <laughs> well, you live in a fancy apartment off the boulevard Zoe Michel, where you play your Rolling Stones records, but you never get your lips wet. <laughs> you don't. But where do you go to, my love? When you're alone in your bed Tell me the thoughts that surround you I want to look inside your head No you don't, no you don't Well, your name, it is heard in high places You know, the Aga Khan He sent you a racehorse for Christmas When you keep it, just for fun, just for a laugh <laughs> But where can you go to my love? When you're alone in your bed Tell me the thoughts that surround you I want to look inside your head Yes I do Well, I remember the back streets of Naples Two children begging in rags Both touched with a burning ambition To shake off their lowly horn tags They try, they try So, oh, look into my face Mary Claire, and remember to see you all, and then go and forget me forever. Though I know you still bear the scar deep inside. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, I know where you go to, my lovely, when you're alone in your bed. And I know the thoughts that surround you, because I can look inside your head. Where do you go to? Um, right, a few um, birthday requests. Um, Keith Harrington, birthday Friday. Russell Hayes, who's 60 today. David Booth, who's a member of the uh, Beware of the Flowers motorcycle group. Happy birthday to you. Um, Brian Cohen say, says, could I say happy birthday to Victoria? And Martin Greenwood, he's 62. Happy birthday. Hey, climax of the show. Um, we have to go back to the year 2000. And um, I got me and my guitarist, Richard Holgoff, got booked to go on the Naughty Rhythms tour. Uh, it was a long tour, probably the uh, longest tour I've ever done. There were 70 dates. It started in late September. I think it's the day before Christmas Eve. And neither me or um, Richard Holgoff could drive. So a lot of the time we actually uh, spent in the Hot Rods van. And because uh, I tell you who's on the tour, um, there's a hamsters, Dr. Feelgoods, the Hot Rods and me and Richard. And I wanted to do this song for two memories, right? One, really, really good memories, a great tour. And the other for uh, Barry Masters um, and in memory of him, because he was great. Um, it's quite funny because Richard, you know, spending all that time in the van, got converted quite early and um, he's been a practising hot rod for years. Um, me, just trying to do the covers, I've only been, you know, a practising hot rod for a week. And uh, Barry, the thing about Barry Mars is he, he did have a, a good sense of humour. And um, one of the things I think he might have found funny was me being... Um, a practicing hot rod. And the other one is 
I think if he was here now, he would give us some advice. And the advice I think he would give us was, do anything you want to do. So, I've been practicing this all week. I hope I do it reasonably well. Gonna break out of the city and leave the people here behind. Searching for adventure, it's the kind of life you find. Tired of doing day jobs with no thanks for what I do. I'm sure I must be somewhat, so I'm gonna find out who. Why don't you ask them what they expect from you? Ooh, why don't you tell them what you are gonna do? You'll get so lonely. Maybe it's better that way. It ain't you only. Do you got something to say? Do anything you wanna do. Do anything you want to do Don't need no politician To tell me what I ought to be Neither no optician To tell me what I ought to see No one tells you nothing Even though they know you know They tell you what you should do They don't like to see you grow Why don't you ask them What they expect from you why don't you tell them what you are gonna do? You'll get so lonely. Maybe it's better that way. It ain't you only. You got something to say. Do anything you wanna do. Do anything you wanna do. Gonna break out of the city and leave the people here behind. Searching for adventure, cause it's the kind of life you find. Tired of doing day jobs, with no thanks for what I do. I'm sure I must be someone, now I'm gonna find out who. Why don't you ask them what they expect from you? Why don't you tell them what you are gonna do? You'll get so lonely, maybe it's better the Hathaway, it ain't you only You got something to say Do anything you wanna do Do anything you wanna do Do anything you wanna do Thank you very much and um, next week the last of the lockdowns, um, I'm going to pick six songs that I haven't done so far that I really want to do. My choice next week. If you fancy it, join in. Thanks loads. Back to bed. <laughs> <laughs>